So the tour is basically in a nutshell, we're trying to showcase the 16 universities that take part in Varsity Cup. To kind of give everyone, all the kind of the fans, the rugby fans, and everyone else who follows the Varsity Cup, a bit of what life is like as a student on campus at university. So it's just showing South Africa's 16 of their top universities and what the culture's like um, and, and kind of doing a little mini tour of those campuses. Sure, I did so many, and I'm obviously quite biased because um, I went to Rhodes, but going to Rhodes is like probably quite nostalgic for me, uh, but also just because nothing changed. So there was like the kind of the hippies, the Ari guys chilling on the stairs, and then there was like you'd go out and there were these like these the drunkards that were uh, trying to cause havoc with our, uh, with our cameras. Probably a little bit of bias because I was at Marty's for a few years, Marty stands out for me. Um, and also I think because it was the last episode, there was kind of a build up to that and a bit of an expectation. So I really enjoyed Marty's and the MC Nick Archibald was great at a little kind of like pushing the boundaries where he did some things that he probably shouldn't have done. Um, I would actually say probably you, Jay. Because we went to UJ and our, our MC is this guy, Melody, who's this unbelievable MC, he's incredibly talented. And what he was doing the whole time while we were filming was uh, he was Instagramming live. And I think his biggest sort of, uh, his follow base are, are like kind of UJ students. So the whole time people were following him on, uh, on the Instagram live and he'd be like, hey guys, check me out, I'm going to be here. And then suddenly when we got there, there was just like a massive group of people there. Uh, these, these are kind of these girls and these residences were messaging him saying, dude, you've got to come to our res, we've got, I need an opportunity to shine. So then completely organically, like no, no organizing whatsoever, um, suddenly there's like 40, 40 women outside this res singing, like so passionate. And we thought that was great, what amazing content, like, it's, as, a, like as a director, like it's, you couldn't ask for more. Marty's, it was also again, because I've gone here, uh, I knew a lot about the campus and so when we went to the library I knew that this was a place that students use, they want peace and quiet, it, it, people take the library etiquette very seriously. And I was like okay cool we'll be in and out, we'll be quiet. And then Nick the MC just decided like let's use this opportunity and he got, got up standing on desks, he was interrupting guys studying for exams. It was, and he was going on and on. He grabbed a skateboard and started skating down one of the passages. So knowing, having grown up or studied there and spent time in that environment, I was like cringing. I was just like, this is terrible. But at the same time, this is such good content. Maybe partly it's because it was all the Shield universities that just we kind of pushed the boundaries on, or maybe it's Nick's directing, but it felt like all of the, the moments that we really had to cut and couldn't include were from the, one, the episodes that Nick directed. One that stands out for me vividly was there was a, um, I don't know if she was a kind of micro influencer or celebrity or something, but at one of the Shield universities. And she, uh, she like, she's a very kind of provocative sort of a, uh, artist and kind of mid uh, mid performance she she, uh, she kind of goes down on her haunches and like on all fours and she was twerking but like you've never seen twerking like this it was so it's twerking in front of like the whole stadium and the whole stadium's going crazy and like we had this amazing shot of like the stadium going crazy and then her twerking on the field <laughs> As soon as the guys in the office saw this, they were kind of like, they couldn't even watch it. It should have been age restricted. So that, that we had to cut. Was when you had Rhodes, so I would, so as I said, I went to Rhodes, and um, one of my lectures, my favorite lectures I could see were, were uh, in their office. And I said like, like, hey guys, I'm just gonna like, we're gonna take the camera, we're gonna run up, we're gonna get amazing kind of like organic moments. <sighs> okay, and she like, she like brings it together, she like stables herself. 
And then she walks in and she goes like, hey, we just want to chat to you. And then the lecturer goes like, just freezes up and just like kind of gets this like terrifying like look, look on their face. <laughs> and like you could see the, now the MC is now just frozen. She can't say anything. She can't ask any questions. Then the lecturer goes like, what are you doing here? You can't just go into someone's office and not ask. Um, so then I'm sitting there like, oh man, like I should have never, I should have never like pushed this girl to go interview the lecturer. They were like, okay guys, let's turn it around. Let's, let's get out of here as soon as possible. So he just shifted the camera out and just sped down the aisle, down the corridor. Um, and we just actually just ran out the department because we like, we don't want to get into any more trouble. So yeah, we left. Keisha from UWC was a great, one of the best MCs we had. She kind of snuck up on what we thought was a couple having a conversation. And as we got there, we suddenly realized that this wasn't the case. You could see they were blushing. The guy was just like panicking. And it was like we'd, we'd caught them in this relationship that wasn't public knowledge. And we had a camera crew, everything on them. And you could just see the guys kind of like everything just sinking and he was realizing like we've been caught yet. So maybe that wasn't the case, but it felt like we'd caught this kind of like undercover couple that hoped no one would see that they had a relationship. It's an amazing moment with Minnie where we were kind of waiting for these two players to interview them um, at UKZN. Uh, <laughs> and so our sign guy um, is, is amazing. Um, uh, it's King's dog. Um, so he started, he's like, she kind of started like rapping, like pretty like kind of relaxed. And then he started beatboxing. And somehow it like really came together in this like amazing moment. And she started like freestyling and he's beatboxing. And it just turned out like amazingly. It just became the intro to our UK ZN episode. So yeah, that was, that was unbelievable. A really personal moment, I would think, was um, there was like a lot of cool stuff. Like you met like a lot of amazing people, and like you can, like you start chatting to them, and they start like kind of like telling you stuff. Um, but probably for me was going to East London and just seeing how passionate they are about their rugby. Like they love their rugby so much, and they love the Wusu All Blacks like so intensely. Like. People were there hours before the game and they couldn't wait for the game. And when Walter Sulu came on, they do this haka. It's like quite controversial in some circles, but um, they started doing the haka. And while they're doing the haka, the whole crowd is doing the haka with them. They know every single movement and they, they're screaming it with the, with the players. And that was just like the unison and the, the, the camaraderie between the players and the crowd was just unbelievable. Uh, the singing, it was like, the atmosphere was palpable. There was like 10,000 like manic fans that like just loved their team so much. So that was that was really amazing. That was something that I that I yeah that really touched me. We were shooting at Marty's, and we interviewed a few people on out on campus. And as soon as we were done interviewing them and turned around, one of the girls was like, "Is this the tour? Are you guys from the tour?" And it was just this moment where we were like, "This is this is great." There's like words getting out there. People are watching the show, um, and so that was a great moment. FNB and Steers, a massive, massive thank you. I couldn't be, I couldn't be more grateful. Um, the universities have just been so welcoming and accommodating. To Moon Sports, you helped us put it together. And then I think most of all, the MCs and the students. So the MCs really were the stars of the show in the end. We didn't expect it to be that way, but they were. Um, and they just showed us around. They were the life and heart of, of most of the show. So. The MCs and then the students. I mean, with, if they didn't watch it, this would be pointless. They, they, were, they made it what it was. They were, we were talking to the students. They were funny. They were great. They were charismatic, and they, yeah, they really helped us put it together. So, yeah. thank you, guys. Check it out. Hanging out at UKZ. Welcome to a how the, the best fresh culture. I'm talking about drama. I'm talking about law students. I'm talking about really cool people. Cause I used to rap like nobody's business. Welcome to the culture that never changes. Welcome to the culture that's always evolving. Filled with beauty, filled with everything nice. Hey, check this out. This is the talk.